My name's Elliot Birch and I'm a multidiscipline fire and security engineer. I'm studying uh, MVQ Level 3, uh, providing electronics for security and emergency systems at SERC in Lisburn. I decided to do an apprenticeship because I think it's good to have trade. The trade I'm doing, it's quite a niche trade, so there's not many people, not many engineers doing that type of job role and it's something I enjoy and have an interest in. The highlight of my apprenticeship so far has been just working within my team, meeting new engineers, meeting clients and kind of working in all sorts of different locations and doing different types of jobs and not stuck in the same place, it's not monotonous. A typical day for myself, it's never the same. You can be in different locations, you go from doing preventative maintenance to reactive calls to install and we work on access control, CCTV, intruder, fire alarm, so every day is different to be honest. I think my biggest challenge so far would be finishing my second year, going into year three and kind of having to go out on my own and use my own initiative and complete jobs myself. But I've enjoyed the challenge as well, so it's made me a better engineer and helped me along the way. I would describe the team and Graham. They're my work colleagues, but I'd also be my friends too. That I wouldn't hesitate to pick the phone up to ring them or to text them and ask them a question or just talk about life and how we're doing. And Everyone's been helpful as well in terms of completing my apprenticeship and if I'm with an engineer and I need to get photos or evidence, they're, they're happy enough to you know, help me out. Yeah, I would definitely recommend Graham as an employer. They're a great company to work for. They're helpful in all aspects. Um, they help you progress, not just as a, an engineer, but as a person as well. Best bit of advice I've received would be keep my head down, keep learning keep doing what I'm doing and when I finish my apprenticeship and become a qualified engineer it'll, it'll help me and I'll hopefully be a, a good engineer. Uh, my hopes for the future with Graham would be short term, obviously finish my apprenticeship, become a qualified engineer, hopefully get gain a couple of years more experience doing the, the engineering role and then in the long term I would like to maybe get into a management or supervisor type role piece of advice I would give someone wanting to do an apprenticeship would be go for it. It's, it's hands-on experience, you're learning every day, you're, you've one day at college or tech and you get to learn there as well and it's good to have. You, you learn new skills, not only hands-on and in the trade but people skills as well, talking to clients and going to different sites so yeah it's, it's a good thing to have.